In this class, we are going to learn how we can consume this BI Publisher report with the help of some API that is the SOAP web service. At the time of recording this class, REST APIs for BI Publisher, if you are running this BI Publisher in your Oracle Fusion Club, then REST APIs are not supported. We have to make use of the SOAP web services only. Now here is the documentation which we are referring from the Oracle Integration 3. So this is the relative URL for your SOAP web service which we have to use in order to consume the SOAP web service. Let me just copy it over here. We have to add this host name to our relative URL. So the complete URL will look like this. So once you have created the URL, just cross check with the help of browser. It should load the SOAP envelope something like this or the definition. Once you have verified the URL from the browser, you can make use of any client of your choice. I'm using the SOAP UI. Click on the SOAP over here. Provide the visitor. Here I will tell this as BIP report underscore run. Click on OK. So we have to just check this run report. Double click this. So from here, we don't need everything. We just need to provide the report absolute path over here. That is over here. Let me just provide the absolute path. The established absolute path of the report will be under here under the properties. Just click on more. Click on properties. We have to copy from here custom test A. Let me just construct it over here. Slash and then the report name will provide it over here. And it's ending with this extension that is dot .xdo. Let me just copy and paste it over here. Copy this and we have to paste it under the absolute report path. Size chunk, this is by default minus 1, we have to provide. Remove what is not required over here. Let me just report all other things. In our case, we are having one parameter so that we will provide. So, I will remove this, which is not needed for our use case. I will remove everything. Even the file data, we don't need all these things, I will remove. I will keep these parameter values. So under the parameter values, we are interested in only the name. So I will keep the name and the values section. That is this one, items value. So in our case, the parameter name is let us go back to edit. So from the data model, you have to search for the parameters. Here you will see the what is the name of your parameter. Just copy this, not the label. Display label, you can give anything, but we are interested in the parameter name, that is this one. We have to provide it over here. As of now, I will keep this as empty. And coming to the authorization, we have to provide the authorization. I will quickly populate the same. Once you have populated the credentials, click on run report. Click on XML, so here you will be getting the data. Suppose in the parameter you want to pass something, then you have to provide it over here, something like this. Now I will copy the content from here. This will be in the base 64 format. Let me copy until this, copy. And you can make use of the notepad. So notepad plus plus is having an inbuilt tool that is to decode the base 64. Here if you decode, we are getting the CSV data from our BIP report. So like this, we can consume the BIP report with the help of web service that is SOAP web service.